Good evening, welcome to We Repair. Um, so, it's been a while since I've recorded due to our lovely covid situation that this uh, fine country is in. Um, but hopefully, I'll get some more videos out and produce now. Uh, so I've got an Acer laptop that I need to do some work on. Um, this is a work colleague's one that needs some love. Um, it has no life in it currently, so nice charger here. If I plug that in, oops, he says. Open the screen, press the power button, and we get absolutely nothing. Uh, so I think this is probably a battery from articles that I've read and a bit of research that I've done. So I have a new battery. I'm going to give us a quick go at replacing, and we're going to go from there. So we just flick this over. Um, this is, just for reference, uh, an Acer A315 laptop. Um, so I think it's an Acer Aspire to be exactly precise. It's Acer Aspire 3, in fact. Uh, so these come apart really, really easy. What we do is remove the 15 or so screws from the base, and then we just, it's almost like a clamshell. You can just lift it out um, and then go from there. So we'll just open these screws up. This will take you probably two, three minutes. It's not a long job. Um, the only thing to mention is there are some connecting cables if I remember rightly so you just have to sort of be fairly careful of that. The screws are all of the same length so you can't really mess this up too much. You do need to lift these two little compartments out as well though. So off to my right here I do have a mag mat just to make my life a little bit easier. Um, purchased from my friends over at iFixit. And I say I've already got a replacement battery. Um, cheapest I could find it for on this model was about forty pounds, uh, and it was one of eBay's finest. Um, I would normally go directly to a company called Re Replace Base for most of my parts. Uh, again, come with a year's warranty on nearly everything, so I would highly recommend those guys. Um, link will be down below for them if you want to get some money off your first purchase. I suggest you drop them a visit. Um, very good for iPad, tablet, mobile, that sort of screen. So that's all out. Um, I'm just conscious that there are screws going all the way through so I just want to pull these out just to be on the safe side and sometimes they hide them under here as well so let's just quickly undo that one. Again same length screw so it's not an issue there. One thing I will do is I am just going to disconnect this hard drive. In fact, there's another screw there as well that I nearly missed. So just to make life easier, I'm going to disconnect that. Let's see if I can lift this out. Let me just grab something for prying. This should just come up. There we go. So let's just grab this screw out as well. Okie kokey. Let's just have one more check. Make sure that I've got them all. Okay, I do. So, I don't know if you can see it very well. Let's see if you can. There is just a divide along here. Um, so you'll basically work your way along that edge with a pry tool. So if I just do this very gently, and it will come apart really, really easily. There we go. And the battery, in fact, on this one has already fallen out. So, what we'll do... It should be seated in like this, so let's just pop this in so you can see how it would have been sat. This almost doesn't look like the right battery, in all fairness. Um, just because of the way these little feet are sat here. But I'm sure it is, it came in the laptop, so... So that is how it will look when it comes. It's just one little connector um, that pulls straight towards you, so we'll just do that. Just like that. So that's the battery removed. Pop that off to one side. This is our replacement unit. Again, it's nothing special, it's just an eBay one. Um, it is not genuine, but for all intensive purposes, it is fine. So again, push a little connector in and slide it towards or well, away from you. Then this should sit in here and the cable should sit sort of flat, which it does. Cool, right, what we'll do while we've got this open, where's my charger? So my DC jack's over here. So I'm going to just quickly plug this charger cable back in, like that. 
I know I shouldn't really do it this way, but I'm going to. We just find the power button and hopefully we'll see some life. Hmm, that's interesting. No life there. Right, let's disconnect that again. What we'll do is just try this without pressing anything. See, is there any life in it? No. Disconnect our battery. Put that off to one side. Now this is the interesting bit. If I was to plug this back in and turn it on, which I've got a button under here for. You can just see the blue lights come straight on the side here and the fan is spinning. Has that just gone off? And the screen has come on with a message saying no bootable drive, but we know that's because we've taken the hard drive out. So that's a little bit weird, which I don't quite get. Let's just reconnect that drive again. Reconnect that drive, reconnect that battery even. And just try this one more time without that battery being like that and no power. Uh, see, that's interesting. Let's see if that comes back on. So I don't know if you can see where I've got my finger right now. So that, just to show you this, this is on. So just here, there's a little dip switch. If you push that in, see that? Which the back is making contact with um, and allowing the machine to turn on. So I wonder if the back is not seated properly or something silly like that. Let's just to put the old battery back in a minute and just see if it's something silly like that. On. Press this down, try our battery. Okay, no surprises, no life in that fan. Let me just plug our power supply in. Nope, nothing there. Okay, let's disconnect that one. Bring our new battery back over, plug that back in. What we'll do is we'll plug our charger in. Let's just pick this up. I'm going to hold my finger on that little catch again, wherever it's gone. There it is. Just press the power button. Ah, see the fan is fired straight up now. Let's wait and see if the screen comes on. There we go, look. Straight onto Acer, maybe it will drive. So that's what it is, it's that little dip switch and we've got a failed battery. So let's just turn this back off a minute. So that's done that. So I'm gonna reassemble the laptop first and just see if that resolves the problem or not. And then we'll go from there. Hopefully it's just a battery and it was the fact that I wasn't holding this little catch down. So let's do a quick reassembly of this and then we can go from there and test it out again. So I'll just grab my base back. So we're literally gonna do everything in reverse here. Not a complicated or long job at all. That little dip switch is there, which is interesting. What's gonna sit over that? Probably this little rubber pad here. So let's just very quickly get these screws back in and see how we're looking. I'm hoping it will just be as simple as that. I'm not going to put them all back in, I'll just do the corners for a minute and then I'll do the rest off camera just to save you spending hours watching me <laughs> doing screws in and doing them up again. As if there's more we've got to troubleshoot then uh, we can do that very quickly. Let's just put a few of these corners back in and our hard drive. There's 
times one. Okay, all right, that'll be enough for just a minute. I'll sort this all out off camera and uh, you can see hopefully the finished product in a bit. So that's the hard drive back in. So we'll just put this one back in as well. And um, because remember our little catch is under there. drive cover back on as well just so that doesn't fall out. We've already done the screws underneath it so yeah, you don't need much force on that to get that to hook in. And we'll pop the one screw in there as well just so we've got some middle support. Oh right, let's flip this back over just like that. Pop our power cable back in. Open this lid and then we'll see what happens. Oh, I can hear noise, but nothing yet. Blue light is on on the side, there we go. And if you can just see that, Acer logo's on there. We'll just see if it does fire up, because it should get a win. There we go, and there's our Windows loading logo at the bottom down there. That is perfect. So that, that is really, really simple job. Um, so what, that's taken me all of 11 minutes, and that's doing a little bit of troubleshooting with the switches and things that I wasn't aware was even a thing. So hopefully that's um, that's been useful to someone else to know that little bit of information as well. So as I say, it's simple as that really. Um, so the, the total cost for this job is around forty pounds. Um, as I say, battery did come from eBay, um, but certainly if you're doing batteries on phones and, and other tablets, I would certainly check out um, Replace Base for for cost on that because they they do a really good job and they're parts of 12 month warranties and generally come next day. So not sponsored, but I just really like using them. Anyway, hope you found the video useful. Um, if you did, please drop us a like, leave us a comment. I do try and respond to as many comments as I can, which hopefully most of you will realize by now. Um, I've got a little bit more new content coming up. Hopefully I can do another video on this um, and just show you some of the real basics of changing ports and cables and things. Anyway, uh, hopefully I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.